Folks, yet another breakthrough to report, all right? So, I've been getting a really good swing. I just, every week or so, I build and build and fix and fix. But I really wanted to get better, so I was noticing that I wasn't really transferring the weight and turning to the left side. And that's always been a problem. And uh, so one thing led to another. George Gankus was nice enough on Easter to give me a little tip where he correctly noticed that I've got this Jack Nicholas tilt and it stays to the right and my, so we tried just releasing the head, okay? And that, that worked. And then um, I also saw the golf room guy, Kyle Morris up in Dublin where I'm from in Ohio, um, give a, tip just coincidentally yesterday, which is something I had discovered and forgot about. Okay, agree. Okay. And that is when you watch Nicholas and Adam Scott and all these guys, you can just see their whole when they're in this position, you can just see that everything comes this way somehow. Okay? And this is how you do it. You get to the top and you feel like you're falling. Watch, I'm gonna fall backwards with my back. I'm getting to the top and I'm falling towards the target. And it's really what you're doing is you're pulling. You're, you're pulling back and around. You're pulling back and around. So do some pause drills where you go to the top and stop and fall. Fall. And then, you know, do a full swing. That's the middle thought. Because if you try to if you try to just uh, get your center of gravity, if you just go up here and think about moving your center of gravity, guess what's going to happen? All that's going to happen is your hips are going to bump, your, your uppers, your, this will stay back here. And George Gank has spotted that yesterday, because I was at first trying to do this just by doing this, and all I got was a hip bump, you know, it didn't work. So you've really got to get up here and think about this back. This back falls. Okay, and when you think about that, you get a turn. 